Hey everyone, it's Bradley. Welcome to my channel, The Portly Gentleman. In this video, I'm going to pressure transfer from my SS Brutech unit tank into corning kegs. All right, let's jump right into the transfer. All right guys, so here we are at the uh, racking valve. I, I wish this thing had the racking arm. Uh, SS Brutech's um, racking uh, solution is honestly pitiful. I mean, it might have been great when these tanks were first released, um, but now it is it's just pitiful. So I'm going to quit ranting and bagging on them, and we're going to spin this right now with a valve in this orientation. That ra There's a racking um, cane inside of the tank that's pointing straight down. That was to avoid getting a bunch of you know yeast and trub and garbage inside of it. So I'm gonna loosen this tri-clamp, which seems a little janky, and I'm going to spin it ever so gently. Hopefully there's enough clearance between here and here. Uh, I really wish this stuff was a little further up. I mean, I guess you can't, but to me it seems like it should be. So, get my big old paw in here, and back that uh, tri-clamp off a tiny bit. It's, it's kind of frightening, I'm gonna be honest. And, Twist that valve. So that's, luckily my front port is sealed. What if I can go the other way? I think I'm gonna hit, there we go. So. Now it's pretty, should be well, pretty well out of the sediment layer. Um, that's as good as that's gonna get. I apologize for the background noise. We're in here and I guess we'll call it my beer room. And the glycol chiller is chilling away, trying to keep uh, quite a few beers pretty damn cold. All right, so now I've got my fittings in a bucket of uh, star sand down here. I've got a, uh, some hose, a ball lock connect, sight glass because, uh, well, It'll be cool and I wanted to make it a little more complicated for myself. And there is also, uh, right now I'm using a, this fitting with a Duratite connector. I've ordered one that's just a smaller uh, hose bar, but I think that'll be better in the long run. So I'm gonna take this guy off, sanitize it, start putting a couple fittings on. All right, so there's the sight glass. Get a hold of the gasket, because, you know, gaskets are great. And off to the side, I have a waiting corning keg that's been thoroughly cleaned, thoroughly purged of oxygen. And it's just got a couple of pounds of CO2 in it, uh, hooked up to another regulator. And uh, so, get the CO2 out of there. And my hope is that I can get a nice purge. Whether or not that does any good or not, to be determined, but That is now hopefully pressurized and there's no oxygen inside of there in my sight glass. So I'm gonna unhook the keg from the CO2, put a spunding valve on the keg so I can regulate, um, you know, foaming and whatnot, cause foaming is bad. All right, so we are connected. Spunning valve is on the keg, it's just off camera. Now all the stuff to do is just to crack open the valve. Start letting some air out of the spunding valve. And we should have beer flowing. 
All right, guys, well, there we have it. Pressure transfer underway. Out of that unit tank into this keg. Spunden valve regulating the pressure out. That's how it's done, easy as can be. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the whole video. Really appreciate all the new subscribers. We're almost at a thousand. That's super exciting for me. I'm not quite sure what it means, but you know, a thousand's better than not a thousand. Anyhow, I'll be back again soon with some fresh content. I have a hop growing system kind of uh, review coming up and some pretty shiny brew tool stuff coming up as well. So thanks again for watching. As always, remember, home brewing is good and I'll see you real soon.